Hello everyone, my name is Joe and I am with Moonslight Magic and I'm here today to talk about the Athame or Athami. Um, what an Athame is, is a ritual knife that is often used in Wicca and various witchcraft rituals and spells uh, for protection. Also, it be, can be used to symbolize your faith um, just by having it on your altar or uh, wherever you you know practice uh it is not meant as a sacrificial knife it is actually sacrilege to use it to draw blood uh in wicca and it is f strictly forbidden it is only used for energy purposes and also again at, to symbolize your faith now athames come in various degrees of sizes and length but the best type of knife to use is something that's comfortable to you it doesn't have to be anything specific Although most traditionalists would say that they would prefer a black-handled athame or a wooden-handled athame. Those are preferable, and again, they're traditional, but you can use any type of blade. There's all kinds of ones out there, and you know many different online websites, including our company and uh, business, Moonslight Magic. We carry all kinds of different athames as well. Now... The most important factor is what is important, what looks good to you, what feels right to you, and you know something that maybe is not too big, not too small, and again, it just varies on the user. Now, athames can be very personal to the user. They can become attached to you, and more so than most other items within Wicca and witchcraft and ritual work, um, they often get very... They, they can develop their own personalities in a sense because they develop your energy into them. You're using your own energy to put into the knife and they actually become alive in a sense. They will begin to store that energy and um, they will get their own feel. And the more you use it, the stronger this will become. But in order to use an athame, the best thing to use it for is to cast a circle. And a circle is basically an uh, a protection ring that you're putting around yourself before you do any kind of ritual or spell. So let's say you want to do a spell to get more money or for prosperity or to change your luck. Then you would cast a protection circle first and foremost and what that does is it protects you not only from negative energy that can try to disrupt the work you're doing and sabotage it but it also can protect you from various entities and these entities are often negative things that will try to get to you and will try to do you um, all kinds of harm and disrupt you like uh, demons and other negative spirits because they're attracted by that energy that you're using. So an athame can be used for a protection circle. And what you would do with this is that you would hold the athame and you would direct it at the ground. You would point it at the ground and you would come up with your own verse. Everyone's different. You would you don't even have to really say anything. The, what's important here is that you're visualizing the energy and that energy you want to channel down your arm into the blade and that and into the ground. And then as you're envisioning this, you're going to turn clockwise in a circle while you're having the knife directed at the ground. And then that energy is going to encircle around you as you're turning around very slowly. And that's going to create a protection ring. And what I like to tell people is to try to envision a white burning light. And then that light is going to encircle you. And that will protect you. And that is one of the main purposes of anathema. Another purpose of anathema is to symbolize your faith. To keep it on your altar. And just to show the whatever god or goddess maybe that you worship uh as that you present this to them it also also is an offering um but again it's never ever meant to be used for a sacrifice um and they can become again very personal and i've had people say that they use their athames for months and then all of a sudden they they find them missing and they don't remember you know why they would they, they don't know why they would go missing uh they had it locked away they were sure that no one got to it uh and then it was just gone and then a couple days later they would come back and they would see that it was right where they left it uh it's not unusual for it to happen um it's rare but it does happen from time to time so uh, again, athames can be very effective, and they can become very personal, and they're a great tool to use, uh, especially for beginners. They're actually really good for beginners. Uh, a wand can also be used in the same light as an athame. Uh, wands are really used to direct energy, just like an athame is, but I think athames are better for protection. 
and I think wands are just better for overall use. Uh, you know, wands can be also used to cast circles, but wands are also very good for other things as well, but that could be a separate video. Uh, Athames, uh, once again, uh, uh, very easy to use and basically more importantly uh, for protection, which is what they should be used for. Um, and that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this series. Uh, we will be having more. If you're curious to see what we carry, you can go to www.moonslightmagic.com. We have a physical store location located in Roselle, Illinois. Uh, browse our website. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, just be sure to contact us and leave comments and feedback. Thank you very much.